250.24. Let's take a look at code section 250.24, service grounding and bonding. And before we actually get into the rule, we really have to start from the beginning. It's like, if this is the bonding and grounding of services, what is an electrical service? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go with you, Brian. Go ahead and tell us about what an electrical service is. Okay, well, if you look at the graphic on my computer here, we've got the definition of a service. So the service is the conductors and equipment connecting the serving electric utility to the wiring system of the premise. So we can see our serving electric utility transformers are here. Our wiring comes in, and then this is the uh, equipment. So this is the service equipment. This is our whole service right here. Well, just the only thing I want to point out, the service equipment ends at the main means of cutoff. And right can here. you show us where the main means of oh, cutoff Oh, actually, it looks like it's right here. Exactly. The two big There's guys two here. two disconnects right there. And right over there. So you have service is from the utility. The two mains of disconnect <clears throat> is the service equipment. Scott, tell us what you find in the industry of people with the word service and what they might be misusing it. Yeah, so <clears throat> unfortunately, a lot of people forget the most important word in the definition is utility. There are other things in the code where we follow similar rules, but only the rules that st apply strictly to services, which is 250.24 is an example, 250.92 is another, is when it meets the definition of a service. And the key word again, like we said before, is utility. And, and we're going to talk more about that. Uh, and, and Jacob, the reason we're spending a little bit of time on this particular <clears throat> definition is because in the past in the industry, people would say, well, you treat that like a service. So when we get into bonding and grounding, the code tells us how to do services. It tells us how to do transformers. It tells us how to do generators. It tells us how to do remote buildings. There are rules on every single thing. So if you have a remote building, you got to go to that rule. But if you say, well, treat it like a service when it's not a service, well, then you'd go to services to apply rules that don't apply <laughs> to something that doesn't apply. So there's a little slang. Well, you just treat that like a service. And no, no, no. We treat it like what it is. So we're learning the code. And we're applying the code exactly what it is. Scott? Yeah, and I was also going to say, this is why um, <clears throat> I think it's a good idea for anybody. As we go through the next several parts, is to highlight when it changes. So you should highlight 250.24. And then the next thing we're going to highlight is 250.30. And then that way you know, if I'm dealing with a service, I'm between 250.24 and right. to the end of 250.24. Right. And that's the only time it applies. So we're at 250.24. We're dealing with services, 